side of the map, you've got it's a very mid. different story. <laughs> I was confused for a second. It's Karma mid. It so they is. they flex the Karma there. Um, karma exactly the same time here. And like G is going to find Wushong there as well. As end of the line doing a lot of damage. Bully is him away from his Raptor camp. Is now Xiaohu getting dove underneath this turret. There's the flash after Republic gets the pull. And Xiaohu gets soloed by Republic's Vladimir. We talked about how Vladimir there with the big team fighting ultimate. So just even cleaner as they're now going in top lane. Well, the Equalizer does go down, but Looper won't have a Scrap Shield and will fall down. So Dragon traded for the top lane. And again, that's a great response from GT. This is something that we don't really expect. Which we can talk about until the cows come home. However, it doesn't matter because Vladimir. Because there's a Teleport coming in. Gimgoon doesn't quite have the Narbar completed as Republic's going to come down. The Hemo Plague's on top of only MLXG. It's going to go off. Picks up the kill for Republic, but now RNG trying to fight this one out. Meganar is going to be coming in, and there's a lot of damage here from RNG. The culling comes down. Of course, Uzi here in the nick of time. They won't get any more, and that is double TP expended for GT. Which means that now the D double TP well, actually one TP advantage is in favor of RNG, but we'll see if they catch out Mata here. Yeah, well, there's the exhaust immediately down. He's still alive, but the Nara is going to punt him into the wall. Nice tempered fate keeps him alive for now as Uzi trying to get a better position. Wushong is going to fall. That's the kill going over to the Lucian, who's not done. The rest of GT are going to come around. Uzi flashes over the wall to get himself to safety, but doesn't have any more displacement abilities. He's trying to get damage down, but it's not going to find it. Six to one in favor of GT. And that's disaster for RNG. Luckily, the rest of the members TP and to look for those skirmishes again. Speaking of TP. Oh, God. Why? Yeah, Xiaohu looking for it. Republic not going to be able to get out of the way. This one doesn't have any of his summoner spells available as there's the shutdown. MLXG wants another as Gimgoon was slowed, but oh my goodness, caught by the pillar. Savoki, so good at that placement and Xiaohu wants this one. The exhaust is down. Gets it with the W and gets the slowdown onto Savoki, but not going to find the kill, end of the line, not getting the follow up. Round this pit. Yeah, and all damage members of RNG here as well as Marta looking for the flanking bard play. They lock down the dragon. MLXG coming over the top as well. Savoki's going to be the focus. Gimgoon tries to bounce his way out there as the equalizer's on top of him. He's going to fall down. Xiaohu grabs the kill. And Marta, this guy is aggressive at the moment. And it was technically a 4v5. Wushong was in the area, but not uh, on his sure looper. Looper. Yeah, he's looking for it. Ooh, right in the choke point. Yeah, has the dash cannon there as well as Pentakill. You can see moving to the side. MLXG gets knocked up. Feared as well as Wushong's doing a lot of damage. Takes the magical journey, gets himself out. But the pillar's there. Xiaohu taking a lot of damage here from Pentakill. As there's the equalizer. Looper gets right on top of the Ezreal and takes him down. And Uzi's still kiting around this fight. Looper doing some work, but the Vladimir's too huge. Triple kill comes in for Republic. And you can't leave this vampire on his own. Not into the wall. Quadra kill for Republic. And what? that is a rumble up on the top lane. They just got obliterated by a true shot barrage before that fight even began, and then ran in and continued to die. And Vladimir is now massive. Yeah, now Marta able to get some wards in. Oh my goodness, they're teleporting. They want this fight. As Xiaohu gets his way over, they are going to stop the Baron. The reason why they want this fight is because game talents have not backed oh, two yet. Two very tanky members of this team as Marta takes a lot of damage. Looper off to the side. As you can see, Gimgoon going to explode with the Dust Blade. As there's the exhaust onto Republic. Dash cannons into MLXG, who takes the magical journey out. Uzi, a lot of damage from Republic, who's so massive on this front line. As Xiaohu has almost picked up the kill onto Wushong. Lots of damage, but Republic's just too big. Two kills already on the jungler in support of RNG. And they're still trying to find more. They just can't do it, though. Still a lot of damage here for RNG. This point will be tough. Well, pings onto the Baron pit here as well as RNG. Sped up. MLXG over the wall there as well as Republic's in the backside. There's the Tempered Fate. Can they buy some time as Republic was caught up in it? Able to throw himself in the mid lane. Lupa has already killed Gimgoon, but the Hemo Plague's down, and now it's time for GT to go off. Xiaohu is going to get eliminated. Marta as well gets feared, but is going to survive for the moment. Lupa incredibly low as now Savoki forced out. Republic's also very low as Pentacu moves forward, takes the kill onto Marta as now Uzi will need to get some work done. Pulls down. Republic, not a lot to heal off. And the loot finding flies through Marta. In trouble as Wushong's looking for him. Look at the damage. As Mata as well going to get tagged by the True Shop Barrage. Republic taking a lot of damage. My god, he's dead! Gets taken down by MLXG and now all of the damage on GT is done. There's another equalizer. Great positioning as Uzi. Maybe a little bit too far forward. Gets exhausted. Takes too much, but they've got another AD carry in MLXG. Savoki now struggling as well. Pentacue's going to have to be a beast here. You can see MLXG off to the side. Massive work done. 
gets over the top. Xiaohu can't find him. It's an even trade so far, but can RNG find more? He's going to get snared up. MLXG's got the damage. Quick draws forward, doesn't get the... Not to flash forward into Uzi. And once again, Republic possibly out of position here, but the Hemoplake's down onto Uzi, immediately deleted. Now as Wushong is going to be the answering kill for Xiaohu. Republic now at about half health, but he's still a danger. There's the Zonya's Hourglass. Now the Equalizer comes down. Savoki going to be burning to death with the Pineapple. As MLXG can't find the auto attack. Republic now. Crimson Rush is there. Pentacue's over the side. But he has enough damage. Look at this guy. Xiaohu now the last man there. And it is going to be GT. The Vladimir survived and they'll get a Baron. See, it's because he didn't have Flash, so he couldn't put himself in a crappy position. <laughs> he was able to carry the rest of the team fight. No, that's exactly how that's supposed to go, and this is what's to be expected. They win the team fight, they immediately go into a Baron. Again, RNG, maybe a little bit overzealous. You know, we won the last team fight. We can continue to fight them. This comp, uh, this Wombo combo potential, how far ahead they are in terms of just the power of their champions, their itemization is very scary, especially to fight in a tiny corridor like that. Oh, RNG yeah. are giving game talents zero respect, and they're getting burned by it. Well, this Baron is going to fall down. RNG are at least going to get a scrying orb over towards yeah, the area. Very quickly. They well, have they, to immediately pull the trigger. They have the Tempered Fate. It's not going to find the dragon. Everyone actually moves out of the way here as MLXG wants to find his way into the pit. Launches his way down. He is going to be able to pick up the Elder Dragon, but he dies for it. Now RNG looking for the team fight. There's the Equalizer as Looper throws down the Zonya's Hourglass. But my god, RNG are getting destroyed. Three members already dead. It's the bottom lane that have to try and pick up the pieces now for RNG. And they may have an Elder Drake buff. Immediately... They want to try and defend this inhibitor if they can. Republic's taken a fair bit of damage as Xiaohu uses his Zonya's flashes, but there's the Nah. They lock down the Karma as MLXG looks for the Vladimir, but they're not going to be able to find him. Now Looper as well. He gets taken down low. Uzi kiting things around. Hemoplague on top as MLXG down to the GA now. And the culling not going to do enough here for RNG. They're now relegated to their fountain. Three dead. Two dead. And GT are pushing forward. Pentacue, they did manage to take him down. But now RNG have to try and defend these turrets. Game talents have effectively suffocated RNG out of this game as they now look to push on. Yeah, Uzi does use his Mercurial Scimitar, gets himself back up, but oh my god, the Vladimir damage. And Uzi now thinks this is a time to go, but it's not. It's a double kill for Republic. The Vlad is too big. The Zonya's on the fountain for a little bit of BM and throws out his pull. This Nexus will fall, and GT take game number one against RNG. I have to frankly say that it was very disrespectful how aggressive RNG were playing for majority of that game. Yeah, I think the draft was disrespectful as well, to be perfectly honest. They didn't pick themselves a tank.